Hi, I'm Paul from The Studio Rats. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up your IO on your Apollo interface so your workflow is much smoother and you can be more creative. Now, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from The Studio Rats. And if you have any ideas for other videos, don't forget to leave those ideas in the comments below. Right, let's get to it. I've got four Apollo interfaces hooked up. Now it doesn't matter if you've got one, two, three or four, however many you've got, the same principle applies. Now the first part of this video, I'm gonna show you how to sort out your ins and outs so you can work more efficiently. First thing I'm gonna do is to start hiding some of the inputs that I'm not using on the Apollo interface and in console. So I'm gonna go up to menu and click on view and I'm gonna click on show hide inputs. Okay, as you can see down here, now we've got this on off button that's highlighted in green. Now I'm not using any of my ADAT inputs, so I'm just gonna click on all of them just to hide them. And now for my second Apollo, which is an Apollo 8, I'm also gonna hide all of these ADAT inputs as well. Right, and now I'm looking at the inputs on the Apollo 16. Now don't worry if you've only got one Apollo, all of this still applies. And let's just remove what I'm not using here. And now I'm going to click done. Now I use virtual inputs. My virtual one and two is basically my mix. It comes from a DAW if I'm not using Luna. And I use virtual three and four for my computer audio. So that's any audio that comes from the computer and any audio that comes from the internet, something like YouTube, etc. The next thing I'm going to do is to start naming my inputs. Now this doesn't affect anything that will show up in your DAW. And I'm going to show you how to do that next. This is just a way of organizing your console. So as soon as you switch on console, you can see what's going in where. Now this is really handy if you're using a DAW that's not say Universal Audio's Luna. I'm going to go through now and label those inputs where I've got external bits of equipment plugged into. So for instance, if I've got a microphone plugged into analog two, that's always there, I'm going to call this SM7B as I've got a Shure SM7B permanently plugged into analog two. So let me just go through all of my inputs and label them all up and hide the ones that I'm not using. And I'll be back in a minute. As you can see, my interface is far more manageable so I can see exactly what's coming into the interfaces. Now, the next thing we're going to do is to set up your I.O. matrix. Now, the I.O. matrix is basically what shows up in your inputs and outputs inside your DAW. So it doesn't matter if you're using Pro Tools, Studio One, Logic, Luna, Cubase, all of this will be affected by your I.O. matrix. So I'm going to go to menu and choose view and we're going to go down to settings. Now, we've got all these different options up here, so I'm going to click on I.O. matrix. And what I'm gonna do here is to start hiding and naming all the different inputs. So again, so I know in my input two, I've got that SM7 plugged in. Right now I'm gonna click on input three. I'm not using it, so I'm just gonna click on none. Now I can go through all of my different inputs here and all the ones I'm not using, I can take offline by pushing none. On my X6, I'm not using input number five or input number six. Right, let's go to my Apollo 8. I'm using all of these inputs apart from line eight. So let's click none. I'm gonna go through all my inputs and outputs in the IO matrix and just offline anything that I don't need. I've taken offline all the inputs and outputs that I'm not using. So my system looks like this. Now, don't worry if you make a mistake, all you've got to do is to go back to the input or the output that you wanna reconnect, and then you can just connect that to whatever you want. Now, for instance, this input was analog four, so I can put that back online if I want to. But let's take it back off. Right, as you can see, I've named everything that I want to name. So now I'm going to save that as Apollo Setup 1. Right, and let's close that. Let's switch over to a couple of different DAWs and see how all of this routing has affected them. Right, let's go to Studio 1 first of all. So if I click on my input in Studio 1, as you can see, they've all been named to exactly what I've called them inside the Apollo I.O. And let's have a look at Pro Tools as well. Pro Tools does this in a slightly different way. So let's go to the IO. And as you can see, all of my inputs have been named. But let's have a look at Luna and see how Luna integrates because obviously the Apollo is integrated perfectly inside Luna. So if I go into Luna and I click on my inputs, you'll see all my inputs that are available for say a stereo track or a mono track now, all the ones that I've put offline have now been removed from this list. 
Now, if I go down here, you'll see I've got this C line 11, C line 12, and C A S E B U left and right. Now, instead of going back into console and taking those four inputs offline, I can do this all in Luna. So if I click on the little UA badge up here and I go to settings and I come over to IO matrix, all of the changes that we made in console are also available here. So let's go down the bottom and I'm gonna remove this one here, this one, and let's go down and find the AESEBU ones. That one, and lastly that one. So I can save that again. And now if I go back to my input choices in Luna, the only inputs that I can see are the ones that I've got online. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of it. If you did get something out of it and you want to like and subscribe, you can do by clicking this button here. And also if you want to see more videos from the Studio Rats, you can do by clicking on one of these boxes here. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.